Shakespeare in the Wild, Shaking Up Shakespeare. A screen for a backdrop is set up with a hand holding up a skull, as in Hamlet's speech to poor Yorick. The troupe of actors is diverse in ethnicity as well as varied in ages and physical abilities. One woman uses a wheelchair. They are arranged in front of the backdrop, three on each side, seated on folding chairs. The rehearsal room, given circumstances. Mayor Trevathan addresses the audience and the participating actors. Again, for any play with any playwright, is to determine what we call the given circumstances. Is that a familiar phrase to anybody in this room? I see some nodding heads. I see some of this. Yeah, great. Um, a way to think about it is the who, what, when, where, why of the play, of the scene that you're about to do. Let's look first at our where and when. Otherwise, it was the setting, right? The where and when from our, what, eighth grade English class? Um, actors, we've already read this scene, so we have a little bit of information. Where are we in this scene? In the forest. In the forest, and when are we, to the extent that we know? Time of day. Sure, time of day? Night. Great, great. <laughs> and era could be a lot of different things, right? But the, we're, we've probably all seen Shakespeare that, like, gets transported to outer space, say, or uh, contemporary day. Um, so we're gonna play around with these given circumstances a little bit before we even get to the text of Shakespeare, before we even get to the words, and look at how different given circumstances make really different choices on the stage. Um, so we've got a where of the forest, we've got a when of at night, is that right? Um, Let's see if we can enter into Act 3, Scene 1, uh, everybody as your character. So these are amateur actors entering the forest for a rehearsal. Uh, and Laura Cho, will you give us just a little foresty music to enter with? They wander around. Flute scans the area, then slaps something on her neck. Bottom waves her script at Titania, who walks over to her and they talk. Puck creeps behind the chairs, hunched low. Cobweb points an imaginary flashlight into the woods. Mustard seed scurries near the piano. Peter Quince peers under chairs. Wonderful. Let's alter their given circumstances. Anybody have an idea that they would share for a different where? A different location? Yeah. Well, the, the, city is, the city is a forest or a jungle, so... So to, this time the rehearsal is happening in a city. How about a different when? Anybody have an idea for a different when? Uh, how about the witching hour? How about the witching <laughs> hour? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and how about let's now uh, let's add on a year this time. Anybody have a year that they want to see us in a city at the witching hour? Yes. Four zero zero. Okay. Okay. Imagination. Florida. Um, <laughs> what that means to me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the most popular composer in the year twenty four hundred. In 
As they rise from their chairs, they move slowly with exaggerated movements and big steps, as one would in low gravity. One is tugging at her space helmet. Another has plugged her nose and is holding her breath. rush around. Puck greets someone in the audience. Tanya snaps her fingers. Peter Quince and Flute face off. They all go back to their seats. Runs around, getting in everyone's way. <laughs> Flute stands up to Peter Quince with his hands on his hips. Titania sits primly and shifts her hair. Cobweb pats bottom on the shoulder. Much more and get 
much more detail. We'll hang on to the why until we're putting the words on it. Um, but let's take one more look at the where, because one of my favorite uh, portions of the where in talking about given circumstances is where you're coming from, not just where you are in the scene, but what has been the moment before, what brings you into this scene. In this particular instance, we get to use our imagination. Um, Courtney, do you have an idea for where Puck has been? Puck has recently been scolded by their, for lack of breath, their, their, the fairy king about everything that they've already done to mess everything up. And they, they have been told to come in and make, and make sure that Titania falls in love with someone And so, what's happening for you, Puck, right before you enter the scene? I just scene? really want. So my why was, or my what was earlier was I want to mess everything up. I mean, yes, I do want to mess everything up, but like in the way that I was told to do it. You want to, you want to mess it up, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you late now? Oh, usually. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have a thought about where their character is coming from? <laughs> yes, I have. I just came from the bathroom where I saw in the mirror that I have a little mustache coming in, and I'm really excited. Oh, that's good. So fantastic. Love that. Very specific. Yeah. That has to be really specific to enter the scene with. Yeah. Anybody else have one? I think I'd probably just came from work as a, as a tinker, so probably mending some pots yeah. and trying to catch up with bottom who I want to be that person. Oh, fantastic. Great. Uh, do you have a thought about where bottom is coming from? Oh, bottom has been pouring over the script mm -hmm. and knows that bottom can direct this better, costume it better, uh, dramaturg it better, <laughs> anyone, and it could be a one-person show. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And so, what has been your path to physically get here? Where are you coming from? Uh, the, the pub. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I you to, you know, get my bottomness up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flute walks to bottom with Cobweb beside them. Are Peter Quince nice? talks to the group. Bottom and flute group together. Titania yawns and stretches. Puck watches. Cobweb runs in. Peter Quince speaks. <laughs> 